If you own or work on a website, you will have heard of search engine optimization or SEO. In this video, you'll learn what SEO is, how it works, and how to apply the basic SEO principles to yours or your client's website. Hey, it's Emily here from Fat Joe, where we provide SEO services designed for agencies and marketing teams. What is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and is the process of optimizing your website to rank higher in the search engine results pages, or SERPs. The goal of a search engine is to present its users with the most relevant content. But there are billions of web pages on the World Wide Web that search engines need to be able to sort through. A search engine will crawl these web pages looking for the highest quality, most relevant content to display based on the search term used. It will then rank the URLs in order of relevance and display them in the search results. Your aim is to be at the top of those search results. Ranking high for relevant search terms enables websites to draw targeted traffic with a vested interest in their products and services. And more targeted traffic means more conversions. Although there are many other search engines available, I'm sure your mind heads straight to Google. And considering Google has over 70% of the search engine market share, it's no surprise. Google also captures over 85% of mobile traffic, so it's no surprise that this is where most SEOs focus their attention. Now let's look at why SEO is important. Let's start with some stats. 81% of people search online for a product or service. Of those users, 75% will never look beyond the first page of the search results. This is because the purpose of a search engine is to make it quick and easy for users to find the information that they need. If they do their job right, then there's absolutely no reason why users should click beyond the first 10 results. Which makes sense because according to a study by Batlinko of 11.8 million Google search results, 70 to 80% of people ignore page search results, choosing to only click on the organic search results. Search Engine Journal, a popular industry SEO blog, reported that over 25% of all search engine traffic goes to the first non-paid organic result. A further 15% is drawn to the second and 10% to the third. That's half of all search traffic going to the first three results. So the lower down the results your URL appears, the less traffic you'll drive to that page. This is why the race to the top of the search engines continues to grow. The thing is, you're not even going to be in the running if you don't optimize your website or understand your customers. You need to understand their wants, needs, and buying behaviors because all of these factors will influence their search behavior. Understanding this in granular detail raises the chances of you appearing on that first page. How do search engines work? The better you understand search engines, the easier you'll find search engine optimization. Search engines don't search the whole internet in real time. If they did, the search engine results would take forever to load, and this isn't great for user experience. So when users perform an online search, search engines will crawl through the information that's already been logged or indexed. This is why they're able to respond to queries so quickly. Let's go into this in more detail. Spiders and crawling. The World Wide Web is easier to understand if we think of it as a giant spider's web. Each of the billions of websites around the world are connected by hyperlinks. These are the delicate strands in our spider's web. Search engines use programs called spiders or crawlers, which are constantly moving throughout the internet. They crawl through the internal hyperlinks to view every single page on a website before they move on to a new website via the outbound hyperlinks. Before the spiders leave a website, they'll log all the data that might prove relevant to users' searches. It's important to remember that spiders can't jump, at least, not in this context. If a link is non-existent or broken, then they can't jump to the next page. They can only get to the next page by crawling through links. And if spiders can't crawl through pages, then they have no way of knowing that they exist. This is why you should always be looking for broken links or orphaned pages when making changes to your website's architecture. Not only do they make it impossible for spiders to crawl your pages, but they also create a dead end for your users, resulting in a poor user experience. And this may count as a red flag against your website in terms of rankings. Search indexing. So the spiders have crawled your website and have gathered as much information as possible about the content and context of your web pages. 
They'll then categorize this data and add it to an enormous database called a search index. When users perform a search, they're prompting the search engines to sift through the search index, looking for relevant pages that match their queries. The search engines only know which pages to display based on the data they collected upon crawling the website. So those websites need to be completely optimized at the point of the crawl to ensure that the search engines categorize them correctly for as many relevant searches as possible. When creating anything for your website, whether this is a new page or content, you need to make it as clear as possible to search engines what the content's about. They'll then be able to rank your content for the most relevant search queries. Next, the big question you probably have is how do I rank my website higher in the search results? First, you need to understand the Google ranking factors. Search engines are always evolving to provide a better service for their users. They're changing at such a rapid pace that it's easy to become obsessed with changing algorithms, preempting how these changes will affect your existing SEO strategies and trying to get ahead of the curve. But between all the AI, machine learning and algorithm updates, something that doesn't change is that a search engine's main aim is to present its users with quality, relevant content that provides a good user experience. With this in mind, I'll take you through some of the key ranking factors that you need to focus on to optimize your website. Content quality. As I said, the reason that search engines are always evolving is to provide better quality, highly relevant searches to its users. So if you ensure that your content is of a consistently high quality, is completely relevant to your users, that you're staying on top of the SEO basics and you're targeting the right search results, then you've got a much better chance of ranking well. To create the highest quality content, you first need to understand your users, which brings us neatly to user search intent. User search intent is the goal that a user has when typing terms into the search bar. As with traditional marketing, the key to attracting new customers through SEO is to be at the right place at the right time. To do this, you need to understand your customer's micro moments. Micro moments are the intent rich moments where a search engine user will instinctively reach for their devices. This includes the I want to know, I want to go, and I want to buy moments. Let's take a look at an example. Say a user searches for yoga classes. In this case, we could assume that they're searching for more information on yoga classes, the types of classes, what to expect. This would fall under the I want to know category, whereas the term yoga classes near me is much more explicit. Users typing this into the search bar almost certainly want to go to a local class. By contrast, someone typing in yoga mat probably isn't looking for instructor-led sessions, they just want to buy equipment. With this in mind, you need to present users with high quality, highly relevant landing pages that match the intent of these moments. This can position your website as the answer to searches queries in the eyes of the search results. This means that you're more likely to rank at the top of the search results for relevant keywords. Being able to carry out detailed keyword research which helps you understand user search intent is one of the most powerful tools in your SEO arsenal. If you're not sure how to do this, we've created a detailed video guide which I'll link up here. The next ranking factor is user experience. I've mentioned this a lot throughout this video and it's become a popular buzzword since Google announced its page experience update. This is because keeping users engaged with your website isn't just just about the content that you write on your pages. It's also about the structure of your website and how easy and intuitive it is for users to navigate through. If your website has a nice flow and keeps users engaged, then the amount of time that they spend on your website will increase and your bounce rate will be significantly lower, which is great for your rankings. Another massive influence on your user experience is your page load speed. A page load speed of over five seconds can increase your bounce rate by over 40%. So you need to take steps to optimize this. You can check how fast your website loads as well as how it holds up against Google's other page experience factors by using Google Search Console. You'll find reports on your website's overall user experience, which includes the page experience, core web vitals and mobile usability. And finally, we have backlinks. Google uses backlinks as a ranking signal to measure the validity, relevancy and authority of your website. You may also hear of the terms incoming links or inbound links to describe backlinks. Generally, the more backlinks you have and the higher their quality, the further up the search results you'll appear for your target keyword. Google confirmed this for themselves by stating that if other prominent websites on the subject link to the page, that's a good sign that the information is of high quality. So if you have hundreds of high quality backlinks from popular or authoritative websites, then you're more likely to rank highly, perhaps even number one for a particular search query. 
query. Now you understand why SEO is important, how search engines work and the ranking factors involved, this will give you more knowledge to apply the three SEO tactics to your website. We refer to the three tactics as on-site, off-site and technical SEO. On-site SEO refers to the actions you can take directly on your website that are visible to the user to improve its ranking. Every time you create or edit a web page, you have the opportunity to improve its SEO. Whether this is by optimizing the content through natural keyword distribution or by updating the meta description and title tags. Off-site SEO are the measures you can take outside of your website to boost your rankings. These techniques usually revolve acquiring backlinks using strategies like blogger outreach, building local citations, or producing and sharing great content that naturally attracts websites to link to you. And finally, technical SEO is about optimizing the back end of your website for crawling and indexing by search engines. These measures include improving the page loading speed, adding structured data, and making sure that your website is secure. Technical SEO often requires a more advanced knowledge of SEO. You should now have a good understanding of what SEO is, how it works, and how it can benefit your website. If you want more detailed advanced tutorials on all things SEO, take a look at our YouTube YouTube channel where you'll find a variety of actionable guides. We upload new videos every Wednesday so make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications and if you have any questions just include these in the comments below.